Morganton, North Carolina. The third round of the GNCC Hair Scramble Series, Steel Creek. It's the morning race with 565 other riders surrounding me. Got my electrical tape numbers on the bike. I look stylish out there. And I'm ready to go. Running the 250C class, ages 12 through 19. Get ready for that 10 seconds. This is it. There were trees at the bottom of it. Hardly any room for passing, it's tight. You can tell up here that there is something going on. It's the mud section. I decide to take the middle line, play it safe. I don't want to get stuck. Oh yeah. Wipe the camera, pop a tear off, keep going. So I've been on the ice and snow for the past few months lately, and being back on dirt is awesome! I'm fighting it out with this guy right here. Come on. I'm trying to go around this guy. He's coming around the corner, and uh-oh. We got ourselves a bottleneck. There was nowhere you could sneak around this one. I just had to wait. the jam up almost as bad as Thunder Ridge. So I catch up to some guys up here. Gets a little bit jammed up over here. Got a lot of traffic out in the course. If you haven't noticed, Steel Creek has a lot of hills. Right here, I make one of the greatest line choices ever. Oh! Hotline! Hotlining! That's what Gyro or, or Gyro Ron would say. I don't know how to say his name. He always says hotline when he takes a fast line through the woods. I'm 
crediting him for it. I don't know if he invented it or not, but here we go again. Another hotline. And look at this, I am passing people. You don't see that every day. So here's this bridge, you gotta be careful. Man, you fall in that. You fall in that water, it's over. Here it is, the famous bridge at Steel Creek. This is, whoa! Get around this little issue here, and you know, look at this. I was not expecting it to be this low. I mean, I was, if you were a tall rider, man, they'd have to push you through with a plunger if you got stuck. But, okay, now we got a little mud section. Oh yeah, look at this. Man, it seems like I know what I'm doing out here. Got some more uphills. This course was all whoops and bumps. It was real rough. And this guy. Ooh, looks like he was holding a delicate spot. We won't go there. Oh, and the downhills, they were so bumpy. Man, they would kill you. But then you had to go up, so that was the fun part. I get kind of behind this guy, and I'm trying to go, and it was, we're not going, so... I ran right into the back of here. And there we go, we're going now. Can't really get the line going here to get around him. But I'm on his tail, trying to set up on him. A lot of traffic, you know, it's tough to get through this. Ah, there we go. Almost, there we go, 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 go! Come on! Oh wait, we have this guy. All right, now it's the time to make the move, go! There it is. Okay, so I get around him. So everyone's kind of settling in now at this pace. I'm settling in, getting a little more comfortable. It's a couple days before this race. I realize there is something seriously wrong with my bike. I have no power. 25 hours on this motor, and it's shot. The top end is shot, so we had to rebuild the top end, overnight ship the parts, broke the motor and down in South Carolina, and then we're here. So that was the long story about that. So, oh, look at this downhill. This was the worst. It was all chop, bumps. It was the most brutal thing ever. So let's get a little fancy here and pull up our total elevation changes for one lap. You've got about a 500, 600 total vertical change in elevation each lap. I mean, that's a lot of travel. Oh, I need a brake. But there's no brakes in this. So now I get into the stuff I love, the single track. Oh yeah, here we go. Lots of roots and trees. This was pretty rough. Oh, this is this is more like it. Man, this is rough. Going up more hills. So this is right at the end of my first lap. I'm coming in. Fancy GNCC position thing there. It says I'm in 14th, which is, you know, not too bad. So I'm going up this hill, and that means I have to go down and just look at this. Oh, jeez. Oh, I fall. I fall in these ruts. Two guys get around me. 
But I get the bike up quick. I'm good at picking the bike up. And I'm off again. Right here, I'm going. I'm going, you know, ripping and the freaking balls. The thing comes out of gear. And I miss, I lose a position. What the heck is that? KTM popping out of gear? But anyway, I get out into this field. This biker scares the crap out of me. He must have misjudged my speed. You know, I, I was going pretty fast. You know, it happens. Now it's time for the mud. And I picked the same middle line again. So people are yelling right here. No! What do you think I can't go through that 10 foot deep rut? That was not a good line to pick. That was rough. Woo! I'm happy I got through it. And so we get over to this hill where the bottleneck was. Woo, thank you! That was a good line, you know. I I thanked him for it because it was so helpful. I'm just going up. Whoa, that branch came with me. I'm going up hills. Getting a little lazy here. That was bad. This is a really neat area. Like the ground was actually red. It was a weird color, clay type stuff. And oh, I'm going under the bridge and through the pipe. And then look at this. I'm going through the mud. I'm like, oh, let's just go around it. What the heck? And I get around this guy. Everyone's cheering, and this guy said, like, oh, that was a great line. I think that's what he said, and it was great until this part. See, I'm just going here. And then all of a sudden, bam, what the heck? A vine is sitting in the middle of the trail. And I'm, I just hate vines. I hate them so much. But I recover, it's all good. I'm, you know, just gotta catch up, and I do. Going up the hill, and I, you know, I love having the multiple lines going up, and oh! There's a guy down, and I go to the right here, and I think, yeah, I get around this guy. So now we get over to the single track. This is really ripped up now, real raw and rough. So this guy, look at this, watch him in front of me. Oh, you all right? It's a good thing that was only a couple feet. So I come into the finish line. It says 18th place, so I've lost four spots. I mean, I, that, was, that was not the best lap. I had a few issues. So I'm, I'm coming down these whoopy whoop sections, and I get around these two guys, and I'm like, all right, yeah, okay, we're getting around more people. It's short-lived. We're going to stop here for dramatic effect because I did something stupid. Just roll it along here. So the first thing I know is I'm in water, and I'm like, okay. Woo! I get up, and I see that I'm in a ditch or a stream. And oh, there's a bike. Pick the bike up, and I look up here, and I see everybody looks concerned. So it must have been a pretty good crash. And that guy is pointing to get off the trail. What? I don't need to get off the trail. I oh, this is that was nothing. So. I am, I'm covered in water. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. I was soaked completely. It was bad, but it cooled me down, so it's kind of a good thing. All right, so we're at the mud pit. Middle line again. was so slippery. It's a good thing we had so many people helping out. Thank you guys. 
Now look at this shifter thing folds in, but there we go. Then we're back up to this hill and through here. The course was really getting rough at this point. So I get on a little one-on-one -on -one battle with this guy right here. See, the issue is there's nowhere to pass. It's very tight in here. And I try going, taking this line. No luck. Almost, though. I should have gassed it. Got it around. Over here, I figured it out. This is a faster line. And I get around him. And then right here, if you go right, this is a little bit faster also. You got open hill, you just rip it and grip it. Woo! Man, I feel like I'm passing a lot of people, but you know, all these guys were in different classes. I was looking at the sticker on the back of their helmet. And, uh, you know, none of these guys were in my class. Ah! So bumpy! This was like a staircase right here. It was so bumpy. Holy crap. Whoa! Bumpiest thing I've ever ridden in my life. So I will say that a lot of people were great by helping out. Like these guys up ahead here, they're pointing out the line to me. I'm coming through. Thank you! That was a great line. Very good line. For some reason, I went so fast up the hills. If I could do that the entire race, I would be, I'd be good. This guy, I'm chasing down for a while. Oh no, never mind, I got past him there. What am I thinking? I'm howling! Oh, look at these bumps. Oh my god. Whoa! That was close. Bad turn. I suck at turning. I'm right now. I'm really lazy because I'm just I'm kind of getting in the tired point. But it wasn't, you know. I'm. I surprised myself because I wasn't all that tired. I have a little issue here. Which is a stupid thing. I don't even know. I was just lazy. I was sitting down. I should have been standing up. I get stupid here and try to go for a pass. And I get rammed into the tree and I get passed by everybody. So bumpy. So I'm coming in thinking, you know, okay, I'm about halfway through the race. It's a checkered flag. That's it? I was like, oh, wow. That, that seemed... I'm either in really good shape or that was not two hours. Well, actually, I'm checking the time here. It, it was about an hour and 40 minutes. Still, I'm feeling way better than I did last year after a two-hour race. And so I placed 17th out of 37. Yeah, all right. But this was more of a get myself ready for the summer races coming up. And so that is pretty much it. Check out these other videos from Steel Creek, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.